Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome back. Today, we are jumping right in and we're going to open up and use these Amazon makeup brushes. I am wasting no time because I'm so excited. While I attempt to open this, if you are new here, my name is Sarah. Make sure you hit that subscribe button before you go. New videos twice a week, usually every Wednesday and Sunday when I have my shit together. I was contemplating where I was gonna unbox these, open these up, try them on, if I was gonna do Instagram, TikTok. I decided on YouTube because I love y'all. Let's do it. Okay, so these have incredible reviews. One, they're like beautifully aesthetic, but two, they're supposed to be amazing quality and work really well. So here's how the package looks. Oh God, there's a lot. Okay, honestly, the amount of brushes that you get is insane for the price. I am shook by that. They're all individually packaged, which is really nice. I'm gonna open up the bigger ones first. Nice powder brush. Another powder brush, a little bit smaller. I'm hoping there's like a foundation brush in here, which I feel like might be this one. Yup, little dense foundation brush. Oh, these feel nice. They feel very soft. Here's another, I would say like um, powder, like setting brush. Then we have a ton of smaller brushes that are probably more eyeshadow, except maybe this one is like a little, I don't even know, maybe a highlight? Not sure, not sure. It probably says in here, but these all look eyeshadow. This one looks concealer to me. We have a little angled brush, which you guys know I can't live without. Honestly, I feel like this is everything you need. This is probably, oh, I don't really have a brush this size. This is definitely probably an eyeshadow brush. Eyeshadow brushes are tough in my opinion. Like I have more faith in these face brushes than I do in the eyeshadow. So let's start. Here is the bunch of the face brushes. I'm gonna start with the foundation brush and I'm gonna start by just putting on a little primer and I have a teeny bit of concealer on. I'm just doing my watermelon dew drops from Glow Recipe to just rehydrate because my skin is quite dry. I put a little bit of concealer on just to like set on the areas that need a little extra love today. And then I'm gonna start with my glow screen. I'm going to aim to make this a summer makeup look. I wanna do really light layers, glowy, bronzy, but very natural. That's my game plan. We'll see if I can pull it off. Let's zoom you in. So I actually think I'm going to buff in the glow screen with the brush, just because why not? Let's test this baby out. This won't be a true test of the brush, the foundation will, but off the bat, blending beautifully. Feeling nice, looking nice. I like the size. I like how it's not like a huge, dense, like kabuki brush, but it's it's not too small, it's not too big. Feels great, blended in beautifully. Honestly, just love using that glow screen as a primer in the summer. It gives, as you can see, just the most gorgeous glow, but also good smoothing. All right, so I think for today, I wanna do a foundation because I want, I want a little foundation on today, but I'm just gonna do a little. I'm gonna use my NARS Light Reflecting Foundation in the shade M1.5. I'm just gonna do one pump of this. Okay, one and a half. A little, a little one. And I'm just gonna apply this with my finger first and then just disperse it all over the face. This is a very light hydrating foundation. That's why I chose it for today. I'm just gonna start buffing her in. Let's see. Oh, I forgot how good this foundation is. Okay, this brush is fantastic. It is absolutely as good as all my other foundation brushes that I use on a daily basis. It's blending everything so nice. So far, so good. So like I said, the key today is light layers. I'm going on with the cream bronzer. I love the Charlotte Tilbury. I'm gonna use my same brush that I was just using and I'm just going to press that in. And I love applying this with some type of round, like semi-dense slash fluffy brush. So this one is perfect. And like I said, I just want really light layers. I'm just trying to like gently warm up the face and give it a little bit of a little bit of structure, but I want to keep this light. I figure if I keep saying it to myself, 
I'll actually follow through and not do too much. I'm heavy handed, it's a problem. Okay, good. I was actually just remembering that a really great summer bronzer slash contour, whatever, that I always forget about is the nude sticks. The nudies matte, this is the Bondi. Oh wait, this is not the color I like. This is Bondi Bell. Oh no, I do like this. That's a good contour. So we're just gonna do a little bit of that kind of right over where we did Charlotte. It's so light. I just love the formula. It's super creamy. Had I remembered this, I probably would have just done this one, but it's okay. The Charlotte one is super light. So this blends as you can see like butter and these are really great for summer these and the dibs products are probably like my two favorite like summer creamy contoury products and again brush is working beautifully like really really nicely okay i kind of want to stay in the nude sticks family because i just feel that those are they're kind of the move for this summer this is sunkissed pink i can't remember if this is a shade this is a little darker than i want then i have sunkissed Oh, here we go. This one is just sun-kissed, I think. It's a nice, pretty pink. It's this one right here. So I think for this one, yeah, we're just going straight on the skin. I feel like for summer makeup, you just want quick, easy. I love how I can just apply this directly to the face. I can apply it to the eyelids, the nose. I can, I'm gonna put this on the lips probably later, or maybe right now. <laughs> and again, I have not even touched a second brush yet. I have not even touched another brush. We're staying right here with this one. I'm just gonna buff that in. These are also really glowy, which is nice. Sometimes when you use brushes like this, it will almost pick the product up where you have to like apply more and it like does, it does the makeup dirty, you know? I feel like this brush is doing the opposite. It is just blending it gorgeously. Okay, next we have concealer. I'm gonna do Kosis because I feel like she's the lightest, most hydrating option. I am so low on this, you guys, though. I am like really scooping it out. Also, less is more when it comes to concealer. Well, just everything in the summer. Ooh, so I just realized this, what I thought was a concealer brush, has a flat edge brush on the other side. So this might be an eyeshadow. I don't know. I feel like I need to look this up. Okay, so I'm just scared that this is not a concealer brush. But it's okay, we're gonna figure it out. So I'm very picky with concealer brushes, okay? So I, I don't wanna say I don't have high hopes. I'm just telling you right now, it would have to be really good. To be honest with you, this is looking good. I'm not even sure this is the concealer brush. It doesn't feel quite right, but we're doing it. Another way to blend your concealer, especially in the summer, just use those fingers. That's what I might end up doing for this. So I'm just gonna blend the rest out with my fingers because honestly, in the summer, that's how I would do it anyway. And I don't know, it, that brush was fine. I genuinely don't know if it was meant to be for concealer. That's the other good thing about those new six products. They are so blendy, blendable and creamy that you can just push them in with your fingers and just make them what you want them to be. But obviously this is a brush video, so we have to use our brushes, we can't just use our fingers. Okay, so for powder, I think I have to, I think I'll do cloud set because with Givenchy, I would normally do my puff. So let's do cloud set and let's do this guy right here. This is exactly the type of brush I would use. And I feel like this is a nice light powder for summer. So I'm just going to press that in. Basically just trying to set the areas that I know are gonna melt off and be, be really oily for me. Then I'm gonna use this big boy and I'm gonna basically just set the rest of my face with this one really lightly because we're gonna do a little bit of powder on top and I wanna make sure that we are, we're fully set here. This is one of those powders though, if you're really oily, you're gonna want something more heavy duty. But this is nice for summer for me because it's light and I'm quite dry right now. Okay, so I realized in order to test out the rest of these brushes, I needed to set the rest of my face. So I did a little bit of my Givenchy with my powder puff, you guys know. These are also from Amazon. They're fantastic. I've showed you a million times, but let's move on to bronzer. I wanna see how this performs as a bronzer brush. So I'm using my Charlotte Tilbury powder bronzer and I'm just kind of coating both sides, tapping off the excess and here we go. Then 
that is applying beautifully. I do feel like I had to build it up a bit. Like I had to use a little more than I maybe normally have to, but that could also be the fact that I have some cream bronzer down already. So it's a little bit harder to see. I love this bronzer because it has just a little bit of like a ready undertone, which is really nice when you want to look a little sun kissed. I do the shade two in this. Okay, so far so good. Time for powder blush. This is Persona Cosmetics in Bubble and I'm using this bigger kind of like, this is the fluffy brush I used. I feel like this is gonna be a good blush brush. I love that. Everything feels so nice. Okay, we are moving right along to eyeshadow. I'm gonna start in my bronzer and I'm using this brush right here. There's no numbers on these, which is a downside because I can't tell you exactly what I'm using, but it's like one of the fluffiest eyeshadow brushes that I seem to have here. And I usually just do like some like a really light wash of some bronzer on the crease. And that is applying and blending beautifully. Let's move into an eyeshadow palette, my Mario Ethereal, just to see how it plays with these guys. Like, look how that's blending. I mean, it is a testament to the product as well, of course, but brushes can mess a product up. And the fact that these are just really blending beautifully. Let's grab another one. Maybe like, maybe this little guy, cause I use a brush like this a lot, this little baby. And we'll do a little bit on the lower lash line with this. Fantastic, love. We'll grab like another fluffy, just a little bit smaller and maybe add a touch of a, our pink shade. This is just my standard eyeshadow routine. I'm actually shocked at how good the eyeshadow is because eyeshadow brushes are hard, I feel like. Okay, the last one I'm gonna use is the angled or the flat for a little eyeliner. Okay, so I zoomed you way in. I have the little angled guy right here and I'm gonna spray a little bit of my Milk Makeup Power Grip or Hydro Grip, whatever. Any settings where you have. And then I'm going in the darkest shade of my palette, which I always do. And we'll just kind of coat the tip of the brush. And let's see. Um, why is that wing better than usual? Um, yes, it's a yes for me. Let's do the other one. Wow, I think it's also because this is such a big angled brush. My angled brush is a lot smaller. So I feel like this just allows me to do this really quickly. It's also great for the lower lash line and it allowed me to be even more precise with my with the wing. Like I'm thoroughly impressed, like love, absolutely love. Like I think I like the eyeshadow brushes even more than the face brushes. Not that I don't like the face brushes, those are great too. Okay. Okay, so I popped on a little mascara. I did a little lip liner. I did Jones Road mascara, and then I did my Anywhere Caffeine from Makeup Forever liner. I'm gonna use my Tarte Lip Plump. This is a new one in the shade White Peach. We love a fresh lippy. Ooh, that's a good lip combo. All right, the last thing I wanna do is my Dior highlight slash blush, whatever. I'm gonna use this one. It's like a big, really kind of not dense brush. Feels kind of like thin, like there's not many hair, so I feel like this is good for a highlight. Also, the makeup's not super heavy, but I, it ended up having to be a little more than I wanted for like summer because I had to try out all the brushes. Okay guys, don't be mad. I actually really do love how this look turned out. The last thing I'm gonna do is a little setting spray. And I want to also mention, if you guys hadn't seen some recent videos of mine, I started using Tretinoin. Um, I got like a prescription for it on my face and it is drying me out. I'm actually like slowing down a bit cause I, I got a little too fast and furious there for a minute. So my skin is not taking on makeup that well at the moment. So like I was seeing some things happening while I was applying and I was like, eh, but I know that's not the brushes. It's just how my skin has been looking with makeup on lately because she's so, so dry. So keep that in mind. But my last perfecting step is setting spray. Let it dry down as much as possible. I'd say a good 30 seconds and then a puff like this 
your favorite setting powder. I like to just kind of make sure it's coated and then tap off excess on a clean part of your hand. And then we're just going to lightly press this wherever we have like texture, imperfections, pores, basically the entire face. <laughs> and that step, in my opinion, makes so much of a difference for A, how my makeup lasts in the summer, but also just the final product of the look because it just smooths everything. All right, so that's my little summer makeup look. Let's see if my hair is not destroyed from these clips. Sometimes I get questions about those clips. They're also Amazon. All right, we're moving in. I'm giving you a closer look. Honestly, I do love how this look turned out. It is pretty like basic, glowy, light, a slight bronze, pinky peachy tinge. I hope it's coming across on camera, but I'm absolutely obsessed with these brushes. Like honestly shocked at how good they are. This brand hit it out of the park. I think I used almost every single brush. I'll keep using these guys, but wow, um, very impressed. So far, so good. And they're insanely cheap. So if you're in the market for some new brushes, try these out and it's, a, it's an entire set. So like you're good. You're good on everything. Like I did a full face. I could have done even more, but I had to stop myself. Okay, that's the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Overall positive review approved by me. I'll link them for you guys below. Hit that subscribe button. I love you. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.